How many of you belong to a, a trade association like uh, IFMA, BOMA, U.S. Green Building Council, or maybe the Chamber of Commerce? Uh, you know, when I talk to people and we talk about uh, associations that they belong to, the number one comment they always make is there are more vendors than there are prospects. And maybe that's been the case with you. You go to the meeting, whether it's a lunch meeting or after work, and automatically you already know what competitors are going to be talking to the people that you'd like to do business with. And so reluctantly you go because you know you have to have their logo on all of your letterhead and all your marketing materials because that indicates that uh, you're a different type of company than a lot of the competition. So you go there and you look around, uh, usually you get a drink, and you might even look for the furthest table away because you know it does, you just want to kill the time, not interested in hearing what anybody uh, is speaking on. Uh, my boss sent me to this uh, function because we need to network. And you sit down and there's a group of people at the table uh, and they're in the same position as you are. They have to be there. They don't think there's any prospects. And so you sit down and you wait for the meal to be served. And no one bothers to introduce themselves because when your mind everybody's thinking, here I am again sitting at a table, uh, well, that's a waste of time and I'm not going to get any business out of that. If that's the way you feel, uh, I'm going to tell you some things that uh, will make you see things a little bit differently. In fact, it'll allow you to get the full picture. Now, you get to the table. What does it hurt you not to take control of the table? Hello, my name is Ron Segura. I'm president of Segura & Associates. And your name is? And what do you do? And do you have a card? Now, how possibly would that do me any good uh, how would it possibly be a source of potential business? Well, have you ever asked who those people are that sit with you every time there's one of those meetings? Uh, maybe it's a landscaping company, or maybe it's a HVAC company. Maybe it's a, a company that does painting or repairs. Um, do you know that those people there could be a potential partner, a, a potential source of business to you? For instance, let's say somebody's sitting next to you. How do you think they would feel if you said to them, look, Jim, what type of customer are you looking for? So if I run across somebody that meets that criteria, I want to give you a call. So what would be the type of customer that you really want? Now, if somebody asked you that, do you think you'd be interested in that person? Uh, absolutely, because we all want somebody to give us a lead or, or send us in the direction that will mean we could possibly get more business. So the next time you're at uh, a function, introduce yourself, take control of the table. Be the first one to make the introduction. And, and by the way, if there's something in the middle of the table or the tables are big that you can't talk to the person on the other side, why not get up, make your introduction, give them your card and said, look, before you leave, let me know a little bit about your company, just in case I run across somebody that might be able to do business with you. If you take that approach, you're not going to be saying after every meeting, there's more vendors than prospects.